Alrighty guys, open up your login.php page and let's look at our if statement up here because we need to test to see if our form has been properly submitted to our database and this is for our login information. So we're gonna go ahead and grab some of our code from, you can do it from any one of your pages. I'll just grab it from new underscore dot PHP. Right click, open it up with a text editor and I'm gonna steal this information. Obviously we're not gonna be using these variables and um, um, sourcing index or info and menu position variable. We'll be using, who is this? Sorry about that. Um, okay, so just grab this information right here all the way down to here. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy that. Let's go back to our login.php page. And I'm going to just, looks like we're missing a PHP tag up here. Let's look at this. Sorry about that, Never mind. we're fine. Here's our opening PHP tag that includes our include underscore ones PHP function with our form functions and this is the closing tag for it right there. So we are on the same page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab all of this stuff right here. We can leave that comment in there and I'm going to indent and paste all of our stuff down here. Now we need to edit this big time. So let me clean this up a little bit. Run for validation. Okay, that's fine. We got all the code in here. Now we just need to edit this. So obviously we're not pulling in our menu position visible and content. What are we pulling in? We're gonna go to our localhost Zamp uh, PHP my admin. Let's look at our database. It was called Sterling Users username and hashed underscore password. Okay, remember that. So let's go back to our login page. I can close this out. And let's go ahead and source all those two pieces of information in. And we will call it username and just password right now. Don't type in hash, hash underscore password. We'll call that in through a variable. Uh, errors underscore merge, errors, check underscore required fields, query post, that's good. Now we gotta get rid of this. We're not pulling in our menu fields with lengths. This is, this wasn't an array, but now we need an array because we need our username and password to be less than or greater, less than or equal to 30. So we'll just type in username and separate your value in your array with a comma, obviously, and password. Um, less than or equal to 30. I believe that's what we did. That's fair, though. 30 is more than enough characters for uh, to submit. OK, so errors, check max fields, fields with lengths. Use the post variable and carry it through our um, URL, that's fine. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Pull all this out. And what I'm gonna pull in is, let's go ahead and create a variable, we'll call it username. And we'll set it equal to, we we'll use the trim, so we'll cut out all that white space. MySQL prep, the function that we created. And in here, I'm gonna sneeze, <coughs> excuse me, oh, I apologize. MySQL prep, and in here, let's go ahead and use our post variable, and we'll index username, and we'll close that out. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this for the password, copy, and we'll change this to password and password. Okay, so that's all I want to do in this video because this video is kind of dragging on. So in the next video, we'll complete our login.php form. So save this.
Make sure that you have up to here to there the way I have it so far. All right, guys, good luck. I'll see you in the next video.